How's it going, Ernie Winters here with some Dragon Quest Heroes, and we're going to talk about unlocking Sorrow. So first and foremost, you're going to need to get to the ending of the game. Not necessarily the last stage, but near the ending. And I'm not going to spoil what stage it is. Just play the game. It's a good story, guys. Trust me. Uh, but you need to get near the ending of the game, and a quest will appear at the quest lady called a monstrous apparition and you'll get to fight sorrow and if you defeat him he joins her party so simple as that now uh when it comes to choosing a party i say choose comfort picks now i was comfortable using yangus but he was having trouble in here landing hits and being fast enough to get out of the way and you'll see what i mean soon here so i decided i'm just going to prioritize a party that's going to get tension up quickly and then my last party member, Jessica, is going to be there to heal the party because I and I went and updated her hustle dance. Uh, not updated, but I upgraded it so the heal is even greater. I think we get like 80 health per heal or something. It's it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. But that is mainly what you want. You want to get a team that you're comfortable with, that you can dodge efficiently with, and build up your tension as fast as possible. It's going to be really important for later on. So let's get started with this battle. So this is a PS4 replay. Um, you're going to notice there's going to be a lot of times when you can get a lot of three hits off. And pretty much every time he attacks, you can get one or two smacks off if he doesn't attack immediately after. So every time he attacks, you can get two, two, three, one or two, one to three attacks off. It depends what animation he uses. That animation, you can get off your... Uh, your flame strike, I believe it's called, and you can just roll out of the way. So this battle is a lot of rolling. It's a lot of poking, poke and rolling, poke and rolling. That's pretty much what it is. And I'm going to use this character until I get my tension meter, and then I'm going to switch to my next. Um, right now I'm playing a little poorly, but she's going to do her hustle dance and heal me for 79 health, which is pretty good. Saves me using the potion. So, me personally, the Children of Light get their tension meters up pretty easily. And that's just for me. I think they do a good job. They slash fast enough and everything. Sometimes you'll miss that, but it's not worth going for another one. Um, and I completely like to ignore the Rose Guardians. I think it's a waste of time to go after them when I can just go after who I need. But you're pretty much going to be in the motion of attack a few times, roll. You just have to get used to this character's animations a little bit. I know I can land one of those and get out of there. So that's pretty much what the battle is. The thing is, when you get up to this part of the game, I've never really rolled against any enemy almost at all. I, I barely use the roll function. I do use it, but not as much as in this battle. So someone that barely rolls, this battle would be a real surprise to you because you will die so fast. And we're preparing to get our attention meter. Once we get our attention meter, no point in using him. And there's a reason for this, guys. Because he's going to have a tension meter later on and he's going to absolutely obliterate you if you're not ready. So there we go. Another heal from our healer. So that's another potion we don't have to use. And we've already got some good damage off on him. I'd say about, what, one-fifth of his health? Yeah, about one-fifth. We just have to be careful for the orbs. Uh, they are dodgeable. They are absolutely dodgeable. But I'm just doing a poor job at it. But uh, I used to attack the Guardians. And what would happen to me is I would not have enough damage done on the actual boss. And he'd go into high tension mode and completely obliterate my team. And we wouldn't even have tensions yet. Or, or maybe we would and it's just he had so much health it didn't even matter. So I decided I'm not going to attack those dumb guardians no more. We're just going to go after him. Oh, there we go. We, we dodged an orb there. Couple effects are erased. That's okay. And we're getting another Hustle Dance off, which is really good. She's healing the party. Now we're almost at max health there. Right, that's Jessica does a great job keeping the team alive. I would recommend having her on your team, especially if you have the upgrade. And I rolled right into that. <laughs> but uh, just take what you see here. I'm pretty sure you guys can play this much better than I am. Bianca's just... You probably won't use her. She's just a character I find really powerful. So I think she's uh, she's good for this. Even though her individual arrows are not doing much damage. 
but it's all about getting her that tension. Once she's in tension mode, she can just stand stationary and just shoot you with a bunch of arrows. And that's where a lot of her damage comes in. Decided to use our first potion there of the battle. So he is almost, we're getting him close to the mid half uh, health point already. And he hasn't gone tension yet, which is good. So we got another tension meter. Let's see if we can get a fourth one here. You are not as feeble as you seem. Uh, I find it a little more difficult to attack with this character than the others, but she was here primarily for the heals, and she did her a great job. She kept us alive this entire time. And we're about to have a tension meter here as with her as well, so that's very nice. There we go, got a tension meter with her. Now we have one more character to get a tension meter with. And I always think it's easy to do it with these ones, with the Children of Light. Uh, we came a little late, couldn't get our poke off there. But same thing, you want to get your hits off, roll out of the way. That's the whole battle. Hits off, roll, he's already under half health. So just showing you guys, anybody could do this battle. It's not as difficult as some people were saying. Um, this was my third attempt on this boss. My first attempt, I went all out on him, and I was like, this isn't going to work. I just knew immediately it was not going to work. Uh, second attempt, I tried doing something like this, but I had the wrong party members, and it didn't work out. So here we go. He's in his tension mode, and now we're going to go to our tension mode, and now you just unload on him. Use, just go just go ham. Your abilities are going to do a lot of damage. Everything's going to do a lot of damage. You know we're missing a lot doesn't matter he can do little orb thing if he wants it's not gonna kill me because we are in high tension mode and I decided to heal the team instead of do more damage there because I'm gonna eventually be swapping to them soon I believe one person had died on my team but that's okay we haven't used any leaves up until now nice damage off there this is the whole point of the ending of the battle because in tension mode he's super aggressive it's really hard to dodge him and now she can just unload our arrows she shoots really fast even though we're missing these arrows right now <laughs> but there you go she's shooting really fast with her arrows now and we're gonna have to actually revive our other party member as well but at the ending of the battle, you're pretty much going to defeat him with your high tension Muso attacks. Let's see if I can find our dead body out here. Oh no! <laughs> uh, with this character, I know she's the weakest one of the bunch, so it's best to use her for the heals. And I decided to heal the team as well because I can't die. So I used her to buff up the team just in case he did survive the Muso attacks. So that is pretty much the strategy guys. Attack, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, dodge, build up tension with all four of your characters and just be prepared. So his health is at a slither right now and we've got our last person in high tension mode. And we are now, we're just now defeating the Rose Guardians, which doesn't even matter because I've been ignoring them the entire battle. And I think this battle is going to end pretty much right now. So, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this win, helps you guys unlock uh, this character and made it simple enough for just about anyone to do it. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.